Hi, I'm Dennis with Dragon Group Chat in New York. Hi, it's Ian from Dragon Group Manchester. And we're here to show some features of the brand new Bird 8888. The Bird machine comes with four interchangeable heads. And you've got this one, which is fitted now, which is the fast head. And these easy to disconnect. And then straight away you can swap for, you've got the tubes, infrared. Standard infrared heater, which is the one most commonly used. And then you've got a larger L Stein SHTS 100, which is quite a powerful heater, good for PlayStation 3s and large chips. And then just go over just All parts easy, easily interchangeable. Essentially, what the system does is to eliminate the, the need to pick a certain type of machine. Four different options available for the uh, heating source that you'd like to use. You know, a choice between hot air, uh, tube array, and infrared. First time available ever on the market where all four different types of heaters can be used. Yeah, it's got a nice universal jig as well, which just, you know, you can just start anyway. You know, clips. It comes fitting with the Amiga TC, which makes sound on TC, which means you know, you've got a vacuum pump for removing the chips, which you'll see being worked on in videos. Okay, we'll, we'll get into dis explaining the, uh, the programmable display for your slopes uh, in another video. But essentially, this is the mover. Yeah, it's showing you the basic features of the Bird 8888. You can select the curve that you want to use. Next, next. And this one, I'm going to use the hot air one, which is that one. Now two. You change the settings and the slopes. And you see the different slope one, two, three, four, five. Use, save curve, quit. So the slope that I'm using is that one. Quit. And then I'll just. Give it a whirl, put a chip on. Next box chip. You just touch that away. That's it, it's pretty good. The first slope, which is just a gentle warm up on the top here, it doesn't really impact much on the process. Because at the start of the profile, it's just the bottom here to do most of the work. It'd be interesting to see what this board is as well. It's quite an old, an old board. I if it works. Just in the soap stage now. So it's something about 150 degrees. The chip has just dropped now, and it's saying it's 184.8, so that's pretty, pretty accurate. So I'll just leave that going for a bit longer. After the profile's finished well, you get a little graph that shows you how the profile your profile's require a little bit of tweaking, you know, to get the best out of the machine. But this can quite easily be done by just changing the, the ramps, the settings and various parts.
Still a bit hot. Ideally, you want to let the board cool a lot more than this really before you test it. So that's my second video, um, 2 out of 2, hey, that's pretty good, so I'm very happy with this machine.